Hi, and welcome back. Today we're inside in my craft room because we're going to start learning the beginning steps to crocheting. First things first, to crochet, you're going to need, wait for it, a crochet hook. <laughs> okay, this is a huge crochet hook, but crochet hooks come in a variety of materials. I'm going to share this one too because I have two plastic ones. I have one that's a little bendy. I suggest it's not for children. <laughs> they will break this really fast. Aluminum. Bamboo, my personal favorite. And then the harder plastic, okay, acrylic. So if you are starting out, you're not gonna know what size do I need? Well, what size hook and what size yarn? Monica, what do I need? If you wanna start with the yarn first, go for that. Find the yarn that you like and we'll build on that. Uh, I suggest nothing too small to start because I don't think that your first few times learning how to crochet, you want to be using these. These are for lace, they're very, very tiny. And I don't recommend that for your starting out. I want you to feel comfortable and get the confidence in being able to do it first. Then you can work out to getting the bigger ones, which are, of course, super easy, and then getting the smaller ones. For now, look for something between a 5.5, this is a 5.5, and this one is a four millimeter. Those are average sizes. They're not hard to work with. So I would be looking for yarn that is that size, okay? This one, has it right on the package. All of the packages should have them on there that you can find out what size hook or what size needle if we were knitting. Another package just so you can see. This one even tells me the size of the yarn very clearly marked by the numbers and it tells me that it's bulky so I know I need to get a bigger hook. This one I need a 10.5 hook. This hook here, the blue one, is a 10. Okay, so you can imagine how much bigger the 10.5 is. So if you're just starting out, anywhere between a 6, a 5.5, or this is a 4. I wouldn't go smaller than a 4 for your first few times, personally. I think it's just going to be easier for you if you're working with the bigger ones. Okay, let me see. This one, this is a J. So, yes. So I, got, I have a J, an I, and we can see it on there, there's a G, okay? If you're going by the letters, if you're not going by the millimeters, all that matters is that it's a basic size. Similar to the size of my pencil, it's just a little bit smaller than my pencil. You wanna feel something that's comfortable to hold. Once I have my crochet hook and I have my yarn, should I deviate between the sizes, okay? Um, if it's your first few times of doing it, I suggest not deviating from what they say to do. They give you these guides on here because this is what they found to be the best for using their size yarn. For this company and their yarn, you need to be using a 10.5, minimum a 10. I could get away with a 10 because the yarn is really thick. For example, look at how thick this is compared to... A thinner yarn. If you choose to use a thin yarn with a big hook, keep in mind that your stitches are not going to look like mine because I'm going to be using the right size hook. If I'm working with bulky yarn, I'm going to use a bulky size hook. If I'm working with smaller yarn, I'm going to use the correct size. Okay, I tend to be tight knitter, tight crocheter. That's just been me. And I like my stitches really, really nice and together. So I know that if a pattern that I'm doing says I need to go to a certain size, 5.5, I'm going to push it up to 6.5 because I know that I crochet very tight. And nine times out of 10, I will hit my gauge. I'll measure it out and it'll be perfect because I know my hands and I know how I work. Everything that I'm going to be showing you will end up being right-handed because I'm right-handed. I originally learned left-handed. So 
your goal, your goal for until the next time we meet is to one, find a crochet hook that you think you'll like. Okay, find a size that you feel comfortable with. If you're comfortable with a bigger one, go ahead and get a bigger one, but make sure that your hook and your yarn match up. For example, my hook and my yarn match up nicely. A nice bulky yarn, a nice big hook. This is a nine millimeter and it's also aluminum, okay? So you decide what you wanna work with. Then get your yarn, get your hook, and we will practice casting on. We'll go over the next time doing the slip knot and making a chain. We're gonna keep it really basic so there's nothing overwhelming. It's very low key and we'll practice that and then we'll add on from there. So I wanna thank you again for watching. This is a short video today um, because all you have to do next time is bring your hook and the yarn that you've picked out. And in any store, there should be someone that will help you. But remember, if there is not, check the packaging. Look for the information. Find the hook section, and it'll give you two things normally. It'll give you the millimeter size and a letter. Most of them have a letter on the end, or somewhere on the hook, I should say. Somewhere in the middle. But once you find it, you're good to go. This one is a 10 millimeter and it is a letter N. This one is also a letter N, but it's a nine millimeter, so double check it. Make sure that the numbers match up to what it says. Don't just go by the letters, because if I just assume that, okay, it's an N, so it should be the right size, what's the millimeter? Sometimes that plays a factor on the packaging, okay? and. They all should have it on there. If you can't find someone to help you, normally at any store you'll be able to find someone to help you, then look on the packaging, pick out the your yarn in a color that is light. Try not to go for the dark ones. We want you to be able to see the stitching. We meaning you and myself, right? It's important that you can see what your stitches are. The darker you go, the harder it is going to be able to see them. I'm in natural light and I can I would be able to see my stitches just fine without any extra light. So light colored yarn, crochet hook that matches the size of the yarn or vice versa. And then we will go on to casting on next time. I wanna thank you for watching this very short video today. And I hope you have a wonderful day wherever you are. Remember, you hit that subscribe button and then we will continue on our journey together. Thank you again. If I didn't already say so, my name is Monica and I appreciate you watching. Have a great day, bye.